I'm going to teach you a solid workflow to create a painterly style character with just a simple model in Blender. From here, we're going to save all of our layers belonging to our character shader. And then we're going to run that through a batch process in PhotoSketcher. And then we're going to run that again through PhotoSketcher to get our painterly effect. From there, we're going to upscale the entire thing. And then we're going to reapply that back to the character. Okay, let's hop in. Here is our basic scene in Blender. We have our character model in here from Mixamo. And then we're just going to go through here and we're going to go into our UV editor. And then this is what our UV should be like. From here, we're going to save as, and we're just going to save our PNG into a folder of its own. And from here, we're going to take that PNG and we're going to open it in PhotoSketcher. So for this process, I actually tested out whether the normal map and the um, specular layer mattered for this entire workflow. So I'm just here trying to dial in some of our settings. So I'm going to use the batch processor. You don't need to use the batch processor for this. You just need to use this cartoon one layer and make sure the edge intensity is set pretty low so that way you don't get up any white edges. So here I'm just going to preview and then I'm going to hit draw. So it's just going to go through and it's going to process each individual photo for me and add a cartoon style shader to it. Okay, now we're going to apply our expressive brush strokes to this and we're going to apply it to each individual layer and it's just going to keep going, and we're going to keep going. And then finally, after all that is done, we're going to have to upscale our layers. I'm using this upscaler that I found free online. You can use any upscaler here, but I'm going to link the one that I'm using in the notes. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to change that the model to digital art. And then I'm going to set my output folder and then I'm just going to hit upscaling. And I sped this up for the sake of time because this did take a little bit of time since I was processing three images versus your one. Okay, now let's open our diffuse layer. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm just going to find my diffuse, my upscaled diffuse layer. And then this is what you should get. Already we're seeing this great painterly effect. Needs a little bit of tweaking, but we're going to get into that right now. Okay, let's apply our Diffuse BSDF. And then from here, we're just gonna apply a shader to RGB. And we're just gonna make sure everything's set to EV because you won't get shader RGB in cycles. Okay, after that, we're gonna apply a color ramp. And then from there, we're gonna apply this straight. From there, we're gonna apply this straight into a mix node into the factor. And from here, we're gonna apply this to a hue and saturation node and this will act as our shadow so we're going to use this to control how bright our entire um, shadow is so i'm just going to change this to 0.5 for right now and make sure it's set into the a and then we're going to use our other color and we're going to set that into the b and that will act as our normal color layer and then we're just going to kind of play around with it so let's take our color ramp and as you can see, a little bit in the shield, like you can see that kind of bright painterly effect in the highlights. And then I'm just going to add a gray so this can kind of be like our midtones. So here, feel free to play around with it. One thing I will note, you need to adjust EV shadow settings. 